this story is completely fictional, it's for pure entertainment and it's not the official storyline. Horero just broke out of prison and nobody knows how. No big plan, no partner on the inside, just that cold stare of his that made the guards freeze in their tracks. They say he didn't even have to run, he walked right out, cool as you like. Those years locked away didn't break him, they just turned him into something worse. Now his skills might be a little rusty, but he's ready to get back into the game. His first stop, Port where he's looking for some serious action to sharpen his edge. Here's the deal, Porero doesn't care who you are, tactical ops, covert ops, bots, it's all the same for him. As long as you're breathing, you're fair game. He's not in this for honor or glory, he's in it for one thing, survival. And the only way he knows to survive is by taking out everyone in his path. Some say prison messed him up even more. Word on the street is that he didn't need much of a reason to take somebody out while he was inside. One wrong look, one moment of eye contact and boom, it was over for them. It's like there's something deep inside him that snaps, and once it does, there's no one stopping him. Doesn't matter if it's fists or weapons, he's gonna finish the job. Now that he's loose, everyone's terrified and they've got a good reason to be because there are whispers that Porero's involved into something bigger, into something that is much darker. They say he might be tied to some nuclear deal as hinted in the season 6 trailer. A green chemical, which just recently got brought into Kamona, is unknown, it's undiscovered, but whatever that is, it gets people worried. Is Porero planning to secretly build a zombie army? And what about the nuclear stuff? You don't mess with nuclear power unless you're ready to burn it all down. And Porero? He might just be that type of guy. In one day he took down 14, 7 ops players and 7 covert ops. And the way he did it was cold and precise. Now the real question is what's next? Horero's out there and he's not done. The real terror isn't just that he's back, it's that no one's prepared for what comes next. Shoot, loot, subscribe.